Today, it is not uncommon to hear believers speak of loving the Lord, while at the same time having little regard for His commandments, stating that the law has been nailed to the cross. A careful study of Scripture, however, reveals that it is impossible from a biblical standpoint to separate the love of the Lord from keeping His commandments. The phrase, love the Lord, is found 17 times in the Bible. Almost every time the phrase is used, it is directly associated with keeping His commandments. When challenged as to the first and greatest commandment, Jesus says that it was to love the Lord. It was common knowledge that to love the Lord and to love one's neighbor was the summation of all the law and the prophets. The first four commandments tell us how to love the Lord and the last six tell us how to love our neighbors. While it is hard to imagine any Christian denomination that would teach us that it is permissible to disrespect our parents, commit murder or adultery, steal, bear false witness, and covet our neighbor's possessions, there are many religious leaders who would tell us that certain of the first four commandments regarding other gods, graven images, taking the Lord's name in vain, and remembering the Sabbath day to keep it holy do not really apply to the church. That is just not true. Our adversary, whom the Bible describes as the God of this world, works overtime to get us to disregard those first four commandments, which tell us how to truly love the Lord. Jesus said, If you love me, keep my commandments, and I will pray the Father, and he shall send you another comforter, that he may abide with you forever, even the Spirit of truth whom the world cannot receive. Acts chapter 5 tells us that the Holy Spirit is given to them that obey Him, the Spirit of God that writes His commandments on our hearts. Earnestly contending for the faith once delivered to the saints, I'm Richard Reeves with Just the Facts.